Welcome everyone. Thank you for joining us for today's City Program webinar. Today's topic is Artificial Intelligence, the Impact on Academic and Research Integrity, and will be presented by Dr. Lisa blackman Sidal. Dr. blackman Sidal is a licensed clinical psychologist and retired United States Air Force officer. Currently, she serves as the Research Protections Program Manager at Capella University. Her primary roles are to oversee the teams that uphold research participant protection, research compliance, and academic integrity in doctoral projects. She leads investigations of IRB protocol noncompliance and research misconduct. She holds a PhD in clinical psychology from Northwestern University and a BA from the Johns Hopkins University. Our learning objectives for today, uh, first to learn basic terminology and definitions, answers to questions like what is generative AI, learn some of the pros and cons of using generative AI and how these may impact your decision-making regarding integrity, begin to think about policy procedures and practice in teaching and learning at your institution and to support academic and research integrity, and then um, a thought exercise to consider how can we ensure academic and research integrity how do we grow ethical thinkers? A year ago, I was asked by uh, CITI, did I want to present about the use of artificial intelligence and the impact on academic and research integrity? And in the email, there was some conversation that said, I know some people like to use it for content consent. And my first uh, reaction was, well, of course, yes, I want to give that presentation, but no, people should never use AI for consent. And now uh, time has passed and uh, I've attended many webinars and read articles and in an entire year, the technology has evolved. And so I had to expand my thoughts and I changed my mind and uh, mostly, and I've decided that you can use generative AI in very positive ways to include related to consent forms, uh, but there are definitely responsible and perhaps irresponsible ways to use Gen AI. And I believe that we have to always include humans. I invite you to review our content offerings regularly as we are continually adding new courses and webinars in various areas of research, ethics, compliance, and professional development.